Good morning, everyone. Right now, my mom is making waffles in our waffle machine. So this is kind of a recent thing, but I've grown to have a waffle obsession. So we've literally been eating buckwheat waffles every single week with blueberries. And I really like these blueberries. I think they go really well with waffles because they're a little bit sour, so it's not too sweet with all the syrup too. But the thing is, I never eat waffles as like a breakfast. I think it's more of like a snack. That's kind of an unpopular opinion, but yeah. We also got some strawberries from the market and they were a little bit on the sour side too, so it was a perfect pairing with all of the blueberries and stuff. For some reason, I'm always eating waffles when I'm super starving and I end up eating way too much and then I get a stomach ache after and it's just a cycle. It happens every single time I eat waffles. It's kind of sad, guys. Okay, so this is kind of a jump. This is a few hours later, I promise, but this is our lunch for the day. My mom made some vegetable soup and she's putting in some bok choy right now. And I actually don't really like bok choy that much, but if it's in soup, it's just a lot better. I just don't like it when it's dry. It's kind of my go-to detox meal, to be honest. So right now I'm going to do some planning. This is actually a planner I've had for over a year. I got it like junior year because I was like, you know what, I'm going to start writing things down. I'm going to become organized. And I never used it, so half of it is blank. Probably more than half, to be honest. And so I'm trying to use it to plan out my days better. But today, I, I wanted to do some de-stressing by doing some art therapy. I used to do a lot of doodles and I found some of my old drawings in there. I haven't used these color pencils since pretty much elementary school. So I was pretty excited to get the box back out and start picking the colors I'm going to use for my drawing. Something I really enjoy doing just to relax when I want to take a break from homework or something is scrolling Pinterest for those super aesthetic landscape postcard worthy photos. My drawing wasn't that great. I spent like 20 minutes on this little cottage. I was just shading it darker and darker because I was trying to attempt to make some shadows and like an illusion of depth. But then I remembered that this is just an art therapy thing and honestly it doesn't matter what you draw, it's just that you're drawing, right? So after doodling for about two hours and being really unsatisfied with how the drawing turned out, I came out to reconnect with nature and it was a really good choice because the weather was perfect, it wasn't too sunny, and the plants were especially green today, I don't know why. Later on in the day, since we were feeling a little bit festive and feeling summer vibes, we decided to get dinner at a restaurant and the traffic was so bad, but at least the car was still so I was able to get this aesthetic footage of the leaves and trees. So we decided on this burger place and I hadn't been here since I was super young. I mean, I'm still young now, but when I was like so young, I didn't really have full consciousness. So whenever I go to like an unfamiliar restaurant, I always make sure to look the menu up and decide what I want to order beforehand so that I don't cause everyone to wait like 50 hours at the restaurant. But ironically, every single time without fail, the thing I want to get beforehand is something completely different than what I actually get. Here's some footage of the interior design which I'm absolutely obsessed with because it really feels like you're on vacation until you look outside and see the sea of cars and you're just like, ah, I see, I'm not on a tropical island I guess. So we ordered an appetizer and we got a chicken Caesar salad, which was honestly kind of too cheesy for my taste. Also got a milkshake and this was honestly so good, even though it gave me a really bad stomach ache, but absolutely worth it and a perfect pairing with the salad. Most of us got the plain old stuff like sandwiches. My dad got a burrito, but unexpectedly the best thing ever were the fries. They were so good. I ordered a grilled chicken sandwich with mayo on the side, but I did not expect there to be that much cheese. Whoa. Afterwards, we got some supplies from our local hardware store, and I don't know why, but I love the smell of hardware stores. It just smells so cozy, but also kind of musty at the same time, but that's what makes it charming, you know? Don't tell me I'm the only one, but I love coming to the light section. It just gives me life, you know what I mean? I also think vending machines are oddly aesthetic, so I had to get this random shot and a worker was like, is she okay? 
I was actually really intrigued by this toy section. It had some of the most bizarre toys I've ever seen. I was also a little bit shocked to see Baby Shark merch. I thought that face was over. I know it's just the nature of these toys, but the faces are always so creepy and demonic. Just being real here, I would definitely not buy and eat this. If it was from a hardware store on a shelf, nah. And these little ball thingies are honestly so nostalgic. I remember getting them from the dentist's office after visits. So I had no way of actually integrating this in a plausible ways, but I really want to show you guys my new New Balance kicks. Now for my favorite part of visiting hardware stores, the garden center. This place is just so relaxing and I just love listening to the wind chimes and observing all the plants. It was really empty though, so it felt a little bit eerie. Usually there's like a few old ladies kind of picking around the flowers too, but it was just me. These flowers strangely remind me of like Gen X users on Facebook because it's probably their profile photo. I feel like the inventory of plants and flowers in general they had this time around was a little bit different than I remember. It could just mean, you know, the changing of seasons too though. Even though I really liked filming all the flowers and stuff, it felt really awkward that it was just me and all the workers because they were like, why is this kid filming all the flowers and not buying anything and it kind of made me feel a little bit bad. I used to have these little succulents on my desk, but I think they all died. I wanted an aesthetic shot with his face, but there was like this water bottle. I like these little googly eyes that they put on the cacti. It makes it look so goofy. Now I'm going to take you guys to the sunflower section. I love sunflowers so much. They remind me of like happiness and good vibes. Happy Sunday, everybody. Today, my family started off our afternoon with a small stroll at the park, but then we soon discovered we were starving. So we headed over to, yep, this looks familiar for a reason. The previous time I got that club sandwich that you probably remember, but this time I wanted to try the meal my family got and it was actually really good. It took a while because they were super busy it seemed to be a really popular takeout place because I saw a lot of people just walking in and out with orders. My mom likes the really spicy salsa. This is my order. I actually wanted a salad instead of fries, but I ended up stealing some of my mom's greens. Oops. I think the highlight of the meal was definitely the rice. I think it was the butter they put on it that was so good and it was paired so nicely with the chicken kebab. It was heaven, guys. By the time we finished, it was still pretty light out, so yeah, that was cool. Hello again, and happy Sunday. Today is going to be a pretty packed day again. We're going to go visit my grandma today and kind of tidy up the house a little and replace some curtains. The weather has been really gloomy lately. I used to be a fan of overcast weather, but I noticed it makes me more tired and stuff. So now I've converted and I like sunny weather. There's something so calming about being at like an old person's home. It feels strangely cozy. I don't know, it just has a different energy. It's not a bad thing. It's just this nostalgic energy that makes sense. Like there's a lot of wisdom.
And my usual duty is just vacuuming the house. But I feel like the vacuum is low-key dirty and it's actually making the house more dusty, so we might have to replace that as well. It is officially the start to my last week of high school. Sort of a short week for me because I only have two days of classes before graduation and graduation rehearsal. So pretty excited, but a little bit nostalgic at the same time. It feels so weird that this is kind of the end. Even though I hated high school, I mean, it's kind of sad that we're getting older, you know? Today I went to the counseling office to pick up some graduation stuff. It's so weird being in here for the last time, even though I didn't come in here, like, ever. Here's the lady grabbing me my little graduation cord. Second to last day ever of AP Lit, and I'm pretty stoked. We're just doing some presentations. I'm so happy mine is over with. This class was super chill. We'll miss it, for sure. So when I'm recording this, it is Tuesday, June 4th, around 9pm. The sky looks so cool outside, so I had to get my camera and film it. But that's pretty much it for this video. Kind of an abrupt ending, I'm sorry, but that's how it be sometimes. So thanks for watching.